in vitro fertilization or IVF. In vitro means outside the body. Fertilization is the process of uniting egg and sperm to make an embryo. Many patients have to resort to in vitro fertilization to be able to conceive. It's important to understand the basics of how is IVF done? How is in vitro fertilization accomplished? The process involves stimulating the ovaries with fertility hormones to produce a bunch of eggs. As everyone should know, a woman produces multiple eggs every month, but only one ovulates or, or is released. When we do IVF, the goal is to produce as many eggs as possible to increase the chances of success. To achieve that goal, you will need to take fertility hormones. These hormones will stimulate the ovaries to produce multiple follicles which contain the eggs. It is very easy for a doctor to monitor the growth of these follicles by vaginal ultrasounds. We can count them and we can measure them. At one point, these follicles which contain the eggs will be ready for harvesting. The procedure is called egg retrieval. It's a process where a needle is inserted through the vagina into the ovaries and the eggs are aspirated. It is done under anesthesia, very light anesthesia or deep sedation. A patient, the patient doesn't feel any pain. It takes about 10 to 20 minute, minutes to perform and the eggs are aspirated from the ovaries and are sent to the IVF laboratory. The patient will recover for 45 minutes and walks home. There are risks involved with any procedure, but overall the risks are minimal with the egg retrieval. As the eggs are recovered, they are cleaned, and then at the same time, sperm would have been produced to use them to fertilize the eggs. Eggs and sperm are united in the laboratory, either through conventional means whereby sperm is put around the eggs and let the sperm fertilize the egg, or we can use a procedure called intracytoplasmic sperm injection or ICSI where we can inject the sperm into the egg to achieve fertilization. Once the eggs are fertilized, we typically keep them overnight to check on the embryos or on fertilization status the next day. Typically, three to five days after the fertilization, the patient comes back, the embryos are assessed for quality, and then a procedure called embryo transfer is performed whereby we select the best two embryos in general, and using a small catheter, we will insert these embryos inside the uterus. The whole process of in vitro fertilization takes average five to six weeks, during which time the patient will take injections of fertility hormones and undergo two procedures, an egg retrieval to retrieve the eggs, and an embryo transfer to transfer the embryos back into the uterus.